This is a story of a girl, who used to live with her parents on a different planet, where there was a colony in which that girl and her parents lived. One day she became alone on that planet, what was the reason for that? To know this, let's start today's story. The story begins when we see a family in which there was a girl named Remy and her parents. This family used to live on a planet called Shuttle Colony and if we look around them, there was no bird, no human, the whole area was barren. They had no neighbors and they had no contact with the people living on the earth. They also had a farm where they kept some animals and a greenhouse where Remy's dad used to grow vegetables. And this is how they were living. Remy's eyes were always away. She wanted to know the place she is living if she goes ahead, what would happen in the next world? Will humans be alive there? That's why she used to look at the distant mountains with longing eyes that she will also go there one day but her mom always used to stop her from doing these things. This family had a hope that someday people would come and settle on this planet like earth and land. One day Remy's dad comes home late and was looking worried. Remy also hears the conversation of her parents secretly Remy's dad had a doubt that there are strangers around him who want to enter his house. Remy also listens to this. Now at night, Remy's dad comes to her and says don't worry, nothing like that will happen and whatever you heard, there is no need to be afraid, I will handle everything but Remy was still scared. One morning when she wakes up, someone had written leave on the window with blood, go away from here, seeing all this, Remy's parents get scared. Her dad quickly picked up the rifle and sees around that who was doing all this. Remy's mom also hides with her. Then after a while, Remy's mom and dad hear the voices of three people who were pretending to be six so that these people feel that they are many people but no one could see them. That's why Remy's dad screams like crazy and says whoever it is, come in front little Remy who was hiding and is standing far away seeing all this, she is scared to see her dad like this because she had never seen her dad like this before. Remy's mom and dad supervise all day, who is it? Who is trying to come to their house? There Remy was worried about whether the animals of her farm is fine or not. That's why she quietly leaves the house without telling her mom and dad. She comes out and is happy to see her animal that it was still fine but when her mom finds out that Remy is not at home. That's why she comes out quickly and to take Remy. When Remy was coming to her house, the people who was hiding near her house also saw her. They wanted to catch Remy but at the right time, Remy's dad shot and killed a man while her mom stops the other and kills him with a knife. Later, she runs inside with Remy. Outside, Remy's dad also kills the last enemy. The bullet was shot on the foot of the enemy and because of it, he was injured. Now Remy's dad goes to the mountains and her mom was collecting weapons from the dead people. Remy sees that there was a girl among the dead. Now Remy and her mom had locked themselves in the house and start waiting for her dad but the night had passed. Remy's dad had not returned yet and this makes Remy's mom worried. She holds a big knife in her hand, takes Remy with her and decides to find her husband but then a stranger comes in through her door. This means Remy's dad was dead, this stranger had killed him. This man was no one else but the same man whom Remy's dad had shot yesterday. He tells his name is Jerry and says this is my house and you people have killed my mom and dad and occupied here. That's why I will not leave my house now. I have reached here after a lot of trouble and if you don't misbehave with me, then you can stay here with your daughter. Anyway, I have killed your husband and I am ready to take the responsibility of you and your daughter, but after hearing all this, Remy's mom comes out and hides with Remy. Remy was crying a lot and says to her mom, let's go from here, we will not stay here but her mom knew that life outside this planet is not easy. That's why she decides to stay with Jerry in this house with Remy and she had some other plan. As Jerry's attention shifts from her side, Remy's mom gets a chance, enters the house and attacks Jerry with a knife but he caught Remy's mom and he tries to kill her with a gun but doesn't kill her and says give me 30 days to prove myself, I will not say anything to you. Now Remy's mom says to Jerry I don't want anything from you, I just want to bury my husband after his death. Jerry was also ready for this and he also buries his companions along with Remy's dad killed by Remy's dad. Now she and her mom were living with a stranger. Remy repeatedly says to her mom, please mom, let's go from here but her mom knew that in the outside world, there are bigger dangers for them than Jerry. Now Remy starts keeping an eye on Jerry. She sees that he had a lot of weapons. When he left, Remy searches Jerry's bag from this, she gets a picture of a mask and a girl. It was the same girl whom Remy's mom had killed with a knife to save her. Remy and her mom start counting 30 days. According to Jerry's promise, they started living with him. Jerry used to handle all the work outside while Remy's mom used to do the housework. One day Remy's mom takes out a robot machine from her storeroom that was like a pet animal. Remy got a good friend, he used to speak and talk to Remy. One day after dinner, Remy's mom sits at night and talks to Jerry. 
She tells the whole truth to Jerry and says when we reached here, your mom and dad were already dead. We were people living on Earth but our spaceship crashed. Because of this, we got stuck here and could never go back to Earth. Now after knowing everything, Jerry was also fine with them. Similarly, time goes by, Remy's mom and Jerry have formed a relationship. When Remy sees all this, she doesn't like it at all because even today, she used to consider Jerry as her dad's murderer that's why Remy now thinks. She prepares her stuff and decided to leave her station without thinking much. She didn't even know where to go next it meant that there was no life outside. When Remy starts going a little further, she realizes that the place where she lives is covered with a glass. It meant that there was no life outside, whatever life was there, it was just in that part where Remy's house was and she used to live that's when Remy sees a huge door. She opens it and goes inside. Remy comes inside and moves forward with the help of the torch she had. She could see light from a distance but because of the lack of darkness and oxygen in that tunnel, Remy's breath stops and she faints there. When she regains consciousness, she was in her bed, it turns out that Jerry had saved her. He tells her that beyond the door there is nothing but dust, dirt and lack of oxygen. You should accept this as soon as possible that you can't go anywhere from here. One day Jerry gets a guitar, on which he asks Remy's mom to sing a song. Remy's mom also sings the same song that she often sang with her family. This means that she had included Jerry in her life. Seeing this, Remy starts crying and locks herself in a room. Her mom goes to convince her but she doesn't agree. Now Remy's mom becomes furious and picks up a gun to kill Jerry because she thinks that because of him, her daughter got angry and she lost her husband too. As she starts firing the gun at him but there was no bullet in it that's why now she runs to get the knife. Jerry also follows her, Remy was watching all this while standing outside, Jerry had now killed Remy's mom too. Seeing this, Remy was broken. Now what had to happen which she had never thought of, that she had to spend her life with a stranger and a murderer of her parents. That's why now she runs away from here to escape from him. Jerry had caught her and asks her to stay because of being a little girl, Remy had no way that's why now she had to stay with Jerry. Remy's mom is also buried on the same mountain where her dad was buried. Time keeps passing like this, Remy had grown up now and becomes a beautiful girl. She was living with Jerry but was sad and quiet but now there were many animals around her. There were many vegetables. One day Jerry gives Remy a gun full of bullets because in all these years, Remy had never tried to kill him. It didn't mean that she liked Jerry. In fact, she still considered him the murderer of her parents and she used to stay away from him all the time. On the other hand, Jerry wanted Remy to forget everything and live a happy life with him. One day he takes her to a pond with him where Remy bathes in the water of the pond for the first time and then the two quietly sit and drink. When they come home, Jerry gives Remy a picture made by her mom. Seeing this, she started crying. Here Jerry's intentions were not right and he hugged Remy in a strange way. Seeing this, Remy got scared. Now she started getting scared at night too because now she didn't feel good living with Jerry. Jerry's intentions had also changed, he didn't see Remy as a little girl anymore in fact, he used to see a beautiful girl inside him. One day Jerry says to Remy I think only you and I are alive on this planet now so you stay with me and we will give birth to children and move the generation forward so that the existence of humans never ends but Remy clearly refuses. She says, why should I not be the last one in the world but can never live with you with the killer of my parents. Saying this, she goes out with the robot machine and after thinking a lot, she decides to leave this place but Jerry finds out about Remy's intentions. That's why he came out of his room with a mask so that Remy could never leave him. She also runs after him and tries to take the mask but by mistake, she falls down and faints. When she regains consciousness, she finds herself tied to the bed. Jerry was sitting in front of her whose wrong intentions were clearly visible in his eyes. He tells her, look, you can still think but Remy was still not ready to listen to him but now Jerry tries to force her. Hearing Remy's screams, his robot machine comes inside and using his weapons, he attacks Jerry by which Jerry falls far away but Jerry was not dead yet. He now shoots the robot and ends it. There, Remy also freed herself and immediately picks up a rifle and shoots Jerry in the head. He was also dead now and she also buried his body on the mountain. After a while, Remy realizes how lonely she is even though her friend, Robot Machine broke. She used to sleep near her mom and dad's grave to get rid of her loneliness. She was spending her days alone like this. She used to see her animals and live like this but she had also repaired her second robot. Now she wanted to go from here with the hope that maybe she will see a human on this barren land. She prepares to go from here and says goodbye to her friend, the robot machine. 
she was seeing her house and animals for the last time on her way. Then she puts on a mask and goes into the same tunnel from where she had tried to go in her childhood. Now she was completely ready. She sees a barren area far away but still, she wants to know that is she alone in this world. If she could avoid the difficulties that lie ahead of her, her search for people would never end. Will Remy be able to finish this journey? Will she ever meet another human? Remy's story comes to an end here.